Last time on Monarch. Oh my god, and it wasn't even Subaru that did it, it was the other guy! I was killed, shoved right out of the window. Oh. Let me go, or else I'll kill your dear, sweet Kokoro. I am in no danger. Oh, okay, I, I definitely believe you and trust you. I would rather forfeit my life than have you possess me. You truly are the most selfish person I've ever met. Ooh! Era! Era? Whoa! I lost? He really was being bullied then. May I remain a member of the TSC a while longer? Absolutely, you are the queen now. Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the hunter of comedy, and welcome back to Monarch. So last time, my queen, best girl Kokoro and I, managed to defeat the pack bear of wrath, give him a firm talking to, mostly done by, you know, Kokoro, like, roasting him for being, you know, a creepy weirdo. And now... We are headed off to the final building, at least I think in this first little chapter slash. How did you uh. know Akane was a pact bearer, Shinya? She attacked me with her authority the first time we met. Oh, wow. I'm glad you didn't get hurt. She might have gone easy on me that first time. How can you tell? It didn't seem like she was trying to kill me. She was aiming for my feet the entire time. Once you can tell where someone's aiming, all you have to do is get out of the way. Oh. I moved into her blind spots and ran on the walls so she wouldn't see me coming. What? You ran on the walls? Are you a ninja or something, Shinya? Yes. What do you take me for? A badass. It's just parkour. That sounds like a little more than just parkour. You think so? Definitely. If I just saw a normal middle schooler start running up walls, I'd be as shocked as Akane probably was. Right. Makes sense now. She was, she, she didn't, it seemed like she didn't want to kill anyone who wasn't involved, but like in that moment, it also makes sense why he was able to take her on so easily. That makes sense. I love these little bit of like introspectives we get every so often. I've done the others, so obviously I need to go straight north. By going down this way here, and then to the left. To the left, to the left. I don't think I've actually been over in this area yet. I can't go there right now. What is this? Looks almost like the cafeteria sort of place. Oh, this is the archives? I can go in the archives? Oh, I can go in the archives, but I can't go up where the mist is. Okay. You yeah, almost everything is grayed out here. I'm guessing this is a place we're gonna come to later. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so that's what that building is. We can't get to the memorial area, which is the the building on the very far right there. We can't get there yet, which means there's probably you know, either that's where like the home base of like the enemy is, or it's just another dungeon we need to go into, like all the others. Okay, so there's another thing here. Oh. Oh! Is that the teacher? Mm. Like, the, the nurse they were talking about in the previous couple of episodes. That badge of yours. You're a second year, correct? I am. Is everyone in the second year building all right? I mean... Yeah, uh, um... Maybe? Kinda? I mean, less casualties than the other buildings, honestly. Oh, I came from a sick, uh, different building. Oh, oh, I thought that was the... Oh, okay, so apparently the building I came from was not that. Uh, I came from a different building. Oh, I see. I guess you wouldn't know how things are going inside then. No, I would not. That's too bad. Mm-hmm. Well, if you hear anything, please let me know. Okay. Um, there's no one to tell her that I have amnesia. I should probably do that. The first floor is covered in mist, so we can't just walk in and see for ourselves. Huh. 
Good to know. What's this? Like a, a very interesting water garden. Look at these things. I don't have 400 of gluttony. I don't have 400 of anything. God damn. Then again, it takes a while to get that high. Okay, here we go. Hmm. First person viewpoint, huh? Who is this? Uh oh. Ow! Uh, sir, I am your king. I recommend not doing that. I would have to do things that would be very unbefitting of a king. Oh no! Picking on the weak, huh? Not on my watch. Ah, oh, dude, there he is! Christ. Huh? Trying to fight these lame brains is gonna get you nowhere fast, you know? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I like him already. He seems cool. He seems cool. Are you alright? Of course I am. Ooh, that looks painful. Couldn't you have found a more pacifistic way to settle this? No. You're giving me too much credit here. Besides, you can't spell pacifist without fist. <laughs> oh, okay. I have decided. He is the jester. He is 100% the jester. Oh my god, I love it. Yes. He is the jester. I don't care what anyone says. There's no rules to say the jester can't be a badass fighter, but he is definitely the jester because he has made me laugh more than anyone else. You want peace? You gotta fight for it. Nah, that's just something my gramps used to say, though. Mm. <laughs> you just leave these kids to me. I'll take care of them. So what is he like going inside, beating up people, and bringing them out for like the the doctor lady to fix up? That would make sense. They're all yours. I didn't rough him up too badly, but I'll rest a little easier if you've got him, Dr. Nako. Nako? Huh. Yes, yes. Leave it to old Dr. Shiro Neko. Shiro Neko. All right, I was going to say, um, like, you know, her name is Neko, but everyone was calling her Shiro Neko. I guess it's a nickname. So... Never seen you around before. Nah, not that I care either way. Scram. You'll get hurt hanging around here. Uh, listen. I was trying diplomacy before. I was trying not to murder anyone, so I appreciate it. Your king appreciates your coming to his aid in the time of need, but trust me when I say I can handle myself. I got this. Maybe. Don't turn back. Have it your way. You want to go inside that bad? Fine. I'll show you around. Does he have an authority too? Interference from another authority? Oh, he does. Hey, you a pack bearer? That's right. Thought so. You're a lot stronger than you look. My power didn't do a damn thing to you. I'm Rio Taro Date, the pack bearer of gluttony. Oh, what's your name? Why are you here? <laughs> I shall explain. My noble quest is to make you a vegetable. Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that. So, you're the vice president of the TSC, huh? Yes, I am your king. I need a business card. I really, really need a business card. All right, I get it. You want to defeat the other pack bearers and turn everything back to normal. Yes. You got to be the real deal if you manage to take down Karama. You know Karama? Yeah, he was always bugging me to team up with him. His grand scheme didn't jive with me. 
So, I beat him to a pulp. Ah! I went out of this academy as much as the rest of you. But the thing is, I can't afford to lose my authority. If we don't see eye to eye, we're gonna have to fight it out sometime or another. Probably. <laughs> but not right now. There's this weird disease going around the second year building. Ten to one says it's someone's authority. Don't know why, but some pack bears been on making everybody in there suffer. Hmm. So he's got gluttony. So let's see. We've encountered uh, pride, lust, sloth, wrath, gluttony. There are two other possibilities of what it could be. So it's got to be either greed or envy. Ah, it's a toss up. I can't really tell. If it's some kind of disease, I don't know if that would be envy or greed. It could be either one, honestly. Grinds my gears just thinking about it. Ha <laughs> ha! Grinds my gears. See, this guy makes me laugh. He's, he's definitely the jester. I like him. He's fun. I'm gonna find out who's behind all this and beat the crap out of them. That's probably a good plan. I can take you on after that, if you want. Eh, you won't last long, but sure, why not? Huh. Actually... It'll go a lot faster if you help out. You catch my drift? Ah, I see. We team up for now, and then I beat the shit out of you later. This is a great plan on your part. See? <laughs> he's always making jokes, this guy. Thinking he's stronger than me because of one, one moment of, you know... Like... Yeah, I was caught off guard, but, you know, I could have summoned my bony people and, you know, like, you know, my skeleton buddies. Say hello, uh, skeleton buddies. Hello. Hello. They are super helpful. We shall become the companions, because there is no one else to be companions with. <laughs> I think Gramps had a saying for this. Oh. Keep your enemies close and your nemesis closer. Uh, friends close, enemies closer, but I mean, like, hey, that works. Good looking out, Mr. VP. Um, I'm your king. You will address me as such. Act one. Ryotaro Date. Cause and effect. Cause and effect. Ha! <laughs> oh, uh, okay, that makes sense. So, I'd love to get this manhunt started right away, but let's exchange some info first. How'd you manage to take down a pack bearer? With my powers? Tell him about the ideals. We're gonna have to anyway. Okay. So breaking these ideal things voids the pact. And the way you find them is by getting calls in the mist. Makes sense to me. The mist is all over the building. It should lead us to the ideals of whatever pack bear is causing this bug. Let's hurry up and investigate the mist so we can waste that asshole. Why are you walking away from the building? Oh, yeah, the entrance was right here. My bad. <laughs> God damn it! I told you, he's the jester! I love it! Alright, I got him on the team. A member of the Go Home Club. Interesting. A haughty second year who has been held back before. He's also known as the heir of the Date Group, an old money conglomerate. Despite his pedigree, he doesn't abuse his family standing, and his arrogance isn't very distinguished in nature. On the contrary, he gives off a more rugged, almost magnetic bad boy vibe. Yes, he does. His countless wild escapades are well known throughout campus. Cool. Neko Yasuragi. A licensed physician who provides treatment and health education at Shin Mikado Academy. Her amiable personality makes her popular with just about everyone. Though Neko is her given name, she tries to get others to call her Shiro Neko. An old nickname of hers she's long been fond of. She's often made to chaperone the unreliable Dr. Kakeru. <laughs> Rumor has it she has bad luck with men and can't hold her liquor in the slightest. Interesting. I wonder... I wonder if she may be the pact bearer of this building. The reason I think that is because they said it was a disease, right? It would make sense if she was the pact bearer. All right.
Wow. It's like a horde of zombies back behind there. Can't go down. Better go up. Oh, wow. It's safe on this floor, I guess. Kind of. It's pretty much how it looks. They're griping and groaning in pain, but physically, there's nothing wrong with them. So it's a mental attack. And the only ones getting sick are the students in this building. But that's not all. I can feel a trace of someone's authority coming from them. Huh. A trace? My ability is called Hostile Takeover. It lets me steal power from others. Oh! So he tried to steal our power, but he couldn't. I get it. What I feel from the people in this building reminds me of what I took from Karama. It's twisted. The kind of feeling you can only get from an authority. It's not all that strong, though. Probably wouldn't affect anybody with some resistance to authorities, like us pack bearers. Hmm. Well, that's good to know, but still, very disconcerting. Alright. Hello, sir. Life is just a series of doubts and worries. Hey, you, why not try taking a psychology, uh, psychology test? Never hurts to reflect on yourself. Sure. You're walking through a dream world with no one else inside. Suddenly, a young girl holding a stuffed animal appears before your eyes. What animal is she holding? First thought that came to mind was a stuffed rabbit. That's lust? What? This question tells us where you find comfort and healing. Rabbits are a symbol of vulnerability and passivity. You're the type who finds relief in doing things for others, aren't you? That is also that is true, yes. Rather than being cared for, you prefer to do the caring yourself. There is some truth to that, definitely, yeah. Okay, let's see who else we got here. If we're going to be trapped for eternity, then we'll stick it out together. Just the two of us. Just the two of us? Forever? Yeah, till death do us part. Oh, Shoma, I'm so happy I could burst into tears. I, I, in fact, I think I just did. <laughs> Am I so happy that it's actually hurting? Are you okay, Nana? That was interesting. A bit creepy, but, you know, definitely interesting. How are you doing? What the... Uh, uh, turned off all the oxygen in here. Oh, damn. Everyone's gone into the mist, and not a single one of them's come back out. I'm shaking in my boots, but I have to go looking for them. I mean, you don't have to. No one's saying you have to. Mr. Tsumabuki, it hurts so much. What a pitiful, pitiful sight. Oh my god! Oh, the humanity. <laughs> the world. <laughs> and God. Are ever so cruel. The fuck? That man has no eyes! And you are? I don't recognize you. But judging by your badge, you appear to be a second year. This, okay, this is creepy as fuck. So, okay, so it wasn't Shiro Neko then. Okay, my assumption was off. It's definitely this guy! Be wary. This building is cursed. It's been like this since these anomalies began appearing in the academy. My precious students, one after another. Oh. Just what did we, what did they do to deserve this? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive it's Envy now that we see this creepy, like, eyeless Palpatine motherfucker. It's madness. It must be a curse, or some form of divine punishment. All we can do is pray. Uh, yeah, no, your thoughts and prayers ain't doing shit. I'ma, I'ma solve this problem. A 
curse. Divine punishment? What a load of bull. Let's get going, Mr. VP. Sticking around here ain't gonna do us much good. Sadly, probably not. It hurts. Help me. Oh, man. There isn't much we can do for anyone. Keep it moving. Sadly, he's right. Hold it right there. Ryotaro. How can you be so... Uh, dude, you're kind of in our way. Your friends are suffering right before your eyes. How can you pass them by so callously? Haven't you the heart to care for others? Um, literally sitting around feeling sorry for them isn't going to help anything. We have to go and fix the problem so that they will get better. Friends? I don't even know their names. How are they my friends? There is also that. Oh? What a pity. You were such a good, honest child. How did you become so rotten? What would your late grandfather say if he could see you now? Not much. He wouldn't care about small-time shit like this. Just leave me alone, Mr. Tsumabuki. I will not. Your grandfather and I were close friends. What's that got to do with me? So, if you're not going to leave me alone, then what are you going to do? I shall pray. What? I shall pray for you to find your once kind heart. For your sins to be forgiven. For your continued safety within this accursed school. I shall pray. Even if the only prayers you receive are mine. Huh. What a load of crock. Prayers can't save people. It is sadly true. Wait! Do that to Mr. Tsumabuki. Hasn't Mr. Tsumabuki suffered enough? I can't believe he'd hurt an old man. That guy's the lowest of the low. <sighs> what? Ah. Nothing. I was just thinking. You guys are all sick in more ways than one. Yeah. There's a staircase further down the hall. We can get to the first floor from there. Yeah, what's obvious is that, um, this guy is pretending, basically, like, the old man is, you know, infecting all these people and, like, making himself look like a saint for, like, praying for them and feeling sorry for them because he probably envies them and their youth or something. I'm not sure. Let's get going, Mr. VP. You got it. Oh, right. Wrong way. <laughs> God damn it! Stop going the wrong way, dude! But do keep making me laugh. Ah, uh, a jester needs to a jester needs to keep his king entertained, and you do that very well. Everyone's suffering, not just me. This Sumabuki's words are just what keep us going. Without him, I'm sure things would be way worse. Yeah, right. Mr. Sumabuki is a respectable person and a good teacher, I'll give him that. I'm not crazy about him. Can't tell you why, though. Something about him just doesn't sit right. Yeah, he's yeah, definitely creepy. I am Junichiro Shigeno, of pre uh, president of Shin Mikado Science Club. I've ordered my subordinate members to investigate the anomalies that are currently plaguing our academy. It's my duty to review the data they collect and use it to formulate a hypothesis as to the cause of our quandary. God of Wisdom granted me this exceptional mind. It is my sacred mission to utilize it to its fullest measure. Thus, my duty bids I wait here and leave the field work for the rest of the club to conduct. Yeah, someone else in one of the earlier videos was saying about how he's not my president because, like, you know, he just sits around and, you know, doesn't actually get his hands dirty. Try 
trail's gone cold on what's causing these anomalies. Even worse, everyone's starting to double over in pain. So what could be going on here? My investigations haven't come any cl anywhere close to cracking this story. Hmm. You're a second year? You don't look familiar. Well, thank you. I guess. It's because we all trust Mr. Sumabuki that any of us are able to tough out this crazy mess. Hmm. I used to play hooky a lot. Thanks to Mr. Sumabuki, my attendance is a lot better. Stop ditching and join the occult club. Oh! But look at the mess that's gotten me into. Maybe I'd have been better off cooping myself up in my room. Huh. Not exactly, but still. Oh my god, are they twins? They look exactly the same. What's going on with me? I'm starting to hurt out of nowhere. Are you okay, uh, Naomi? Wait, I'm starting to feel it too. Did I catch it from you? Oh wow, so they must be twins. Yeah. Okay, nothing else down here. What is in these rooms? Anything interesting? Asuka Otaki. Our present circumstances exceed the bounds of human understanding. There's only one possible explanation. Paranormal phenomenon is upon us, wouldn't you agree? I mean, I would. That's definitely what's happening. I've not been able to practice since the mist appeared. I do not know what to do if I cannot run. My body is throbbing a bit as well. But I do not know where the pain is coming from. Hmm. As if I haven't been through enough, I have to suffer this too? Hmm. Okay, there's one more room to go in here. Oh, another teacher. Our top priority in this unprecedented crisis is the safety of the students. But what can we even do to secure it? All I can do now is tell people not to wander into harm's way. Well, at least you're being logical about it. Yeah, I can appreciate that at least. All right, we're going into the mist. Hopefully we can clear the first floor. Mr. Tsumabuki was a friend of my Gramps. Hmm? I met him a couple of times when I was a kid. Pretty sure he was the dean of some other academy back then. He was kind of famous as an educator. Think the government even gave him an award or something. My Gramps never shut up about how great he was, and from what I could tell, he was right. But about five years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki got sick and quit his old job. Even to the day my Gramps died, he was worried about the guy. I remember it pretty well. Then two years ago, Mr. Tsumabuki came out of nowhere and showed up here. He seems different from what I remember, though. Real talk, I think the guy's gone senile. I mean, praying? In the middle of all this? If you've got time to pray, you've got the time to fix the problem yourself. Agreed. Much better to take action than sit around crying. Again, I agree. You'd have to be pretty messed up yourself to put a guy like that on a pedestal. Yeah. Leaving things up to someone else is the same as ditching your own free will. Oh, God. Oh, I love this guy. Without it, what's the point in anything? That's no way to live, if you ask me. Life's about proving your worth, after all. Leaving your mark on the world. I mean, that's one interpretation for it. I mean, I personally don't really care about leaving my mark on the world, but, you know. Hmm. It seems this place, too, is linked to the depths. Always is. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? <laughs> Thanks, Vanitas. Let's see here. Yep, Precipice of Envy. I figured it was Envy. Oh shit, I forgot to level him up. God damn it. Oh well. Well, at least we'll see what he's what he's like basically capable of. Let's go, Ryotaro. It's mutant time. Ready. He's got guns. That's cool. Take this. Oh wow, these. Oh wow, Here he is. He's got a lot of range. I'm guessing. 
Yeah, pretty damn good range. Power is 65, so it's not that powerful. Attack an enemy with a chance of reducing the target's accuracy. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, these guys are at a uh, pretty high level. Oh, wow. That thing just fucking teleported? That's insanity. Wow, the way she said that. Oh, my God. Kind of hot, honestly. Bye -bye now. Ooh, yeah, that helps. It's not over yet. I could just end this now, but I feel like I want to actually uh, deal with all these guys. So I'll be back in a second after I, you know, <laughs> murder them. Oh God damn it! He's blocking the way. No, I can't get to it. There we go. Okay. You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another step up the ladder. Wow. I did horrible, but I got a lot for that fight. Whew. Wow, once someone goes down, there's just nothing to heal them with. Like, there's nothing to, to like, you know, bring people back with. That's probably not good. Yeah, I figured I'd look at this while we're here. Hayate Sumabuki, a second year high school chemistry teacher whom many students admire for his gentle, compassionate demeanor. He served as the dean of a different academy for many years and received an award from the national government for his work as a prominent educator. An old friend of Ryotaro Date's late grandfather, he often frets over the boy's recent behavior. Huh, okay. All right, I got Ryotaro up to level 21, which puts him in range of where we are. Kokoro still was the highest of all of us. Uh, definitely after this episode, I'm gonna spend some time doing some uh, farming and leveling. So let's see here. Well, actually, let's go back here first before we go in those rooms. Ooh, what's this? Ah, ten spirit. Step. You, you're different from us. Huh? You're still normal. I mean, I wouldn't call myself normal. I am the king. I'm not saying I'm abnormal or above you, but I am saying that, you know, being a king is definitely not a normal thing. I'm right, aren't I? I can tell. Well, guess, really. <laughs> Man, I envy you. Hurry up and end our suffering, okay? Okay. Well, that was odd. Right over you. You're different. You aren't messed up. You aren't poor and pathetic like us. I mean, you shouldn't put yourselves down like that. <sighs> Must be nice. I envy you. Do you? Please. Put us out of our misery. I mean, I don't necessarily want to do that. Okay, what's going on in here? Right over here. Okay. Right over here. What right the here. fuck? Step inside and you're home free. Why did he do that? Step inside. Step inside and you're home free. Someone's memo three. Why did this happen to us? It isn't fair. It's crazy, depressing, frustrating, disgraceful. Wait, I've got it. All I need to do is make everyone like us. Our abnormal will become a new normal, then our salvation will come. Hey, over here. Oh, that's why they want me to... Hurry up! Yeah, that's why they want me to get near that guy, so that we'll go crazy with madness too. Okay, that was, okay, that was actually very interesting. Gotta give that one props, that was very interesting. Okay, I see something on the other side there. I want it. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Hello, sir. Uh, Chromo Miscellaneous Notes number four. Okay. You're different from us, aren't you? No, no, we're all the same here. 
Yeah, all all the same. No, no differences. None. None. Come, come on, come on, come on, Ryotaro. Come on. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's see. I saw something over here. There it is. What do we have to do to be saved? I mean, I don't know. Hey you. Hey you. Did you wander into the mist by accident? No. Nah. It's dangerous past here. You should turn back. Stop lying. Huh? I'm not lying. Huh? I told you I wasn't lying, didn't I? Bullshit. Persistent, aren't you? I already said I wasn't lying. Cut the crap already. You are so infuriating. This is annoying as hell. I feel like I'm gonna lose it even more. Should have just listened and gone to the science lab. Should have just gone insane like us. Well, that was easy. Hey, I found it! Cool! I got here early because I want to go check the other end of the hall. <clears throat> because I haven't checked everything yet. Okay, 15 spirit. Okay. There's no other way. If we need to become normal again, then our salvation will come. It has to. Oh, joy. I tried really hard to find the blank... Uh, the flowers blank loved. Rest in peace. Chioikawa. Rosemary. Oh. Chio's such a good kid. Ah, that's the other side. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, I'll have to run all the way back. My madness is going to go up a little bit, but nah, I can deal with it. Alright, here we go. We're jacking into the mainframe. Kind of. Ha! Green. Green with envy. That rock over there, one of those ideal things you were talking about? Yep, I get to backhand it. Looks like a piece of cheap jewelry. No wonder they break so easily. I mean, I don't know if they break easily. I have to backhand them. My knuckles are a little raw from all the times I've done it. Why did you form a pact, Ryotaro? I've got a wish I need to fulfill. Okay. And I want to prove my worth, too. Okay. Gotta have power to do both. I, I mean, not exactly true. I mean, depending on what your goal is. That's why I made a pact with the Monarch of Gluttony. It's not that complicated. Oh, you know what? Now that I think about it, I haven't had a dream about Yoru since the anomaly started either. Well, I had two of them. You've met her, right, Mr. VP? Karama mentioned having a similar dream himself. Yeah, I spoke with her in my dream. You guys talked? She did all the talking for me. I've noticed that. Told me about the other world, monarchs, authorities. Didn't let me get a word in. Guess the dream's different for each pack bear. No, I've noticed that I'm the only one who got to talk to her. Several times, in fact. The bony people cometh! All right, let's get to work. Ha! I just noticed his guns are like flintlocks. This stuff is my magic gear, right? The Monarch of Gluttony gave me the rundown. Are those guns? Yeah, you surprised? They're pretty rare in Japan. It's true. Don't worry about my aim, though. My gramps beat the basics into my head. I won't screw anything up. Yeah, that's the thing. If you've never fired a gun before, it's not as easy as it looks. Anyway, moving on. Let's go, Ryotaro. It's meeting time. Here I go. Ooh, fire... Uh, four hit, full side turbo velocity combo. Interesting. Headshot. Take this! Ah, I missed. God damn it. It's all mine. Bye bye now. There we go. That was nice. Here I go. 
Get him again, Irina! Oh man, I was hoping to kill at least one of them. I want to try this rapid fire. Wow, that didn't do much. I don't think I can get all three in one. I definitely can't, damn it. There we go, that's better. Get ready. Wow, I am not doing very good. Oh man! Oh, that's not good. Oh no. Oh, bad. Oh shit. Null and void. Oh my god. This is gonna be close. Oh man. It's looking rough. It is. I will not be able to get him in one hit. I need to heal. Heal! No mercy. Payback! So this is madness. Checkmate. Payback! Got him! Oh my god! You're good at this, Ryotaro. Just another. I barely one. got that. I did horrible. Whoo! A lot, though. A lot of spirit. Ooh, boy. Yeah, definitely gonna need to do a bit of uh, leveling up in the interim. Backhand those ideals. Ow, my knuckles. Exacious. Enviable. Hateful. Detestable. Their unmerited joy. Their undeserved peace. Their unearned smiles. It was I who brought smiles to their faces. It was I who brought joy to their lives. Even though it was I who deserved it most. Oh, yeah. Why is it I who suffers so? Why is it I who wallows in anguish? They are unworthy, yet happy. While I am worthy, yet miserable. It's not the point of doing good things, though. Like, dear God. The mere act of seeing other people smile because of what I've done brings me happiness. I think that probably changed at some point for this guy. Probably when he got sick. He probably started viewing other people as unworthy because they didn't go through as much as he did. And, you know, he ended up miserable in the end. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, but that is... That's just life sometimes. And it sucks, I'm not denying that. But at the same time, I mean, like, you can't blame other people for that. This world... Oh, if I must remain in misery... Then they should be even more miserable than I. Yeah, sorry, I skipped that one. My bad. Oh, the vexation. The hell was that? The pack bearers will. Must be one jealous will. Oh, yeah. Probably means the sin is envy, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> what a lame ass pack bearer. I'd never see eye to eye with someone like that. I mean, you already don't, so I suppose that's a good thing. Hey! First floor cleared! Fuck yeah! Hello, ladies! Yo. I have brought... the treats. What? Real taro? Been a while, Prez. Well, Vice President, I see you're letting in just about anybody now. Hey! 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 He makes me laugh! 
Every good king needs a jester. Hey, what the hell is this? I thought you guys were the true student council. This place is a dump. It's called being humble. So this is that view, Taro, huh? Meaning? He's practically an academy legend. How many times has he been held back? Partially because he's one of the heirs to the Date group. And because he brought in a nude model for art class. Oh! Interesting. And because he got separated during a field trip and ended up touring all of Japan before returning. He's definitely from a rich family. And because the Academy added multiple pages to the school handbook specifically because of him. That makes sense. This makes sense. He's made quite a name for himself. Seems to me like he's already doing a really good job of leaving his mark on the world. What is he worried about? During the last school entrance ceremony, he vanished abroad for an entire year. He didn't even tell his family. How did that happen? Does he not need their money to survive? He only just got back. That gap year he took is the reason he's in your grade. But he should actually be in Nozomi's. Oh. Yes, he should. His disappearance sent the entire academy into an uproar. So, Ryotaro, why have you come to the TSC? Me and Mr. VP are partners now. Just until we take down this pesky little pack bear. That's all. Excuse? Excuse? <laughs> How do you know about the pack bears in the first place? Because I'm the pack bearer of gluttony. Duh. You? I need to sit down. Probably for the best. <laughs> so your current comrade is a derelict drifter of a delinquent. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about it. Where's that voice coming from? You've given another pact bearer your clearance. It should be no trouble to make my appearance. Hey! <laughs> Such a feisty, fearless fellow. Look upon me, for I am Vanitas, a mighty being born of the abyss. Um, I wouldn't say that in front of him, dude. He may punch you in the face. And you, human, are irresistibly interesting. Intriguing, in fact. Devote yourself dutifully to my dominion, and I may be fain to furnish a few favors. This a stuffed animal or something? No, wait. Is this thing a demon? Eh, not like I care either way. The only will I follow is my- Yeah. Oh, I, sorry, I accidentally pushed the button. It would seem, VP, that you have quite a knack for bringing these utterly deranged people back. Are you talking about Kokoro? Because if you are, I will murder you. Huh. Hey, I'm not the only one who does that! Hooray! This little guy's pretty damn fluffy. What is this, Rex fur? That's some swanky shit. Hey! Stop! Be gentle with Mr. Bunny! You're going to stretch his ears out! That's eh, fine. Ryotaro, humor me for a moment. Has the Vice President explained how dangerous using your authority can be? Yeah. And? So what? He wouldn't be gluttony if he didn't give a shit. So what? It's capable of distorting the very fabric of our reality, that's what. It can't be that big a deal. I mean, it's nothing compared to a weapon of mass destruction. I ain't planning on giving it up for anything. And I ain't gonna let you guys take me out either. Ah! 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 Oh god! Ah! Do you, do you see Nozomi? Do you see why he's the jester? Oh my god, this guy is hilarious. <laughs> we will murder you. I've got plans for this power. We're teaming up because it's convenient. But if any of you get in my way after this, we just might end up on opposite sides. Hooray! Do you have Someone, Ryotaro? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Why would she ask that? There we go. Oh, did that cancel it? No! I didn't want that to cancel it! God damn it! Come on, say more words. Say more words! I've heard that maggots can barely see. Oh. Just another reason you are one, considering your total lack of direction. What the hell are you talking about? Oh! My sense of direction's fine. It just is not. Uh, what? You... don't know? Huh? Have you never looked at yourself in a mirror? Oh, wait. I forgot. Maggots can't even see. Ha! <laughs> ha! Okay, that's funny. Okay. We'll talk to everyone but Vanitas, because, you know, Vanitas is gonna probably have a long story for us again. Ryotaru's kind of an oddball, but I don't think he's a bad guy. I, I can, I, I mean, like, I don't know him well enough to really agree with, or disagree with that, Chio. He doesn't seem like a good person, but he doesn't necessarily seem like a, like a horrible person either. Nozomi still won't let her guard down around him, though. No surprise there. Oh, well, yeah. By the way, I heard that Dr. Shiro Neko is at the second year building. She is. I met her. You've already met her, right? Wasn't she the greatest? I talked to her for a total of like a minute. Like, I don't know if that's enough time to get to know if someone's great or not. Did you think so? What? Dr. Shironeko is a saint! Huh? How could you not recognize that? Um... I talked to her for like a minute. She's beautiful and nice. You don't see a combination like that every day. Excuse you! Kokoro is right behind me! You take that back, girl who may or may not be my sister! Oh, there are some rumors about her. I hear she likes to drink and that she has terrible luck with men. That would make sense. That would make sense. But even so, that doesn't make her any less nice. It does make her kind of... I mean, irresponsible, though. You can't deny that. Okay. Yo, Four Eyes. I hear you're a pack bearer, too. Affirmative. I am the pact bearer of Sloth. But that aside, it is rude to address one by appearance upon meeting. You should call me by my name, Kokoro Sarugadai. Yeah, you will respect my queen, or I will murder you. <laughs> all right, all right. Sarugadai it is then. Name's Ryotaro Date, Pact Bearer of Gluttony. Good to meet you. Good. Good job. I'm proud of you. I don't have to murder you now. A pleasure to meet you as well, Date. Huh? Date? You are a first year, right? That should be evident from the color of my ribbon, yes. <laughs> yeah, thought so. What is it, Date? Is something bothering you? Nah, just not used to being called that by anyone younger than me. You referred to me by my surname. I am simply responding in kind. Should I not have done so? Eh, do whatever you want. Very well. But should you ever dislike the way I address you, you need only say so. God, I love her! I can always give you a nickname. Big D. Or Little Rio, for instance. Big D! <laughs> uh, thanks. But hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> Rio Taro it is, then. Incidentally, as you are the pact bearer of gluttony, does that imply your authority is related to food? No. My ability's called Hostile Takeover. It lets me steal other people's power from my own. That way, I can gorge myself on as much power as I can handle. Perfect fit for gluttony, am I right? <sighs> I see. How very... impressive. Doesn't sound all that convincing when you're sighing up a storm. What are you so bummed about? Yucky soba bread. Ah! Huh? I expected that if your ability were food-related, you might be able to procure some for me. Hey, Mr. VP. This chick playing with a full deck, or...? No, no, I get where she's coming from. I was hoping that, you know, you could get us some food too, but apparently that's not the case. It's fine! She's safe and secure! Precisely. I am both safe and secure. God, I love you! Uh, that's... not exactly what I meant. Okay. So you're the infamous Ryotaro Date. 
infamous. Even us middle schoolers know about how much of a completely hopeless problem child you are. <laughs> I always figured that if the rumors were true, that made you vermin infesting our academy. But now that I know you're the pact bearer of gluttony, well, it's even worse than I thought. Ha, <laughs> damn. Hostile takeover is more of a plague than a power. It even sounds like an invasive species. You're no better than a maggot. <laughs> Pretty sharp tongue you got there. You're Shinya Yuda, right? The Dean and Mr. Yugo's kid? Adopted kid would be more accurate. Adopted or not, you're still their kid, right? I love how he doesn't make that distinction. He's literally like, you're their son, whether you're adopted or not. I guess. But that doesn't mean I'm going to just go around parading the fact I don't have the guts to do something like that to them. <laughs> Who's the problem child now? <laughs> if I'm a plague of maggots, doesn't that make you a little roach? All you do is talk crap on yourself while you roll around in the gutters. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? You're the one who started it. What's so wrong about calling a maggot a maggot? Self-righteous pact bearers like you shouldn't even exist in the first place. You know, if you want me to shatter your ideals first, I can. Bring it on, you little shit stain. It'll just end with you crying home to mommy. <sighs> Ah, uh, knock it off or I'll tell the dean. Fighting with the middle schooler is lame. It's like watching an insect fighting match. What? Hmm. Insect? Fighting? Fights like those are only held between opponents of the same weight class. Or the same brain mass in this case. If the two of you are insects, I'd say the shoe fits perfectly. Same brain mass? Me? And this moron? <sighs> yeah, I'm done with this. As am I. <laughs> nice one, Vice President. That definitely cut deep. I know it did. <laughs> See, as the king, it is my job to lay down the law sometimes. I guess you might say, you squash them like bugs. Hey! That was good. I like that one. So, I heard from Madam Prez that you got amnesia. I do! All I know is that I am the king, apparently. Well, not apparently. That is absolutely true by this point. I am your king, and you will bow before me if you feel inclined to. Like I said, I am a just and noble king. I do not demand that people get on their knees in front of me. But at the same time, please do not look down on me. I mean, figuratively, you are literally taller than me. I'm not asking you to squat. Does losing your memory change your personality, too? I don't know. How would I know that? Right. Guess there's no point in asking if you wouldn't remember. Exactly! But speaking of personality changes, Mr. Tsumabuki was a normal old man before. What could have made him change so much? He's a pact bearer. Is it not that obvious to you? I wouldn't want to end up like him when I get old. All shriveled and spineless. Mm. When you get older and you lose like, you know, abilities you had when you were younger makes you terrified. So, yeah, maybe. It would suck, but I mean, that's why I, I personally think it's more important to solidify who you are as a person, not to anyone else, but to yourself, no matter how difficult that may be sometimes. Alrighty, and we'll talk to Vanitas after this, because I'm pretty sure he'll have another psych test for us. But either way, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of leveling in the meantime here. Probably get everyone up to like maybe like 30 round there. And then we will pick it up after that. So thanks again for joining me, everybody. And as always, if you enjoyed this as much as I did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe if you are not already. Ring that bell for all them notifications. Is And until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers.